Hey YouTubers. Uh, this is gonna get a bit noisy because of where I am. Echoes the sand of a bit and the cars and stuff behind me. But I'm really keen to get this thing going. I wanna run a, I got an electrician coming in about two or three hours. He's gonna temporarily put um, a, a cable and a fuse on my pip so I can actually use it. So he will be here in about an oh, hour or two. He's always late, so I hope he doesn't watch my channel. <laughs> but yeah, so he'll be here, so I just wanna use my temporary mount. And I'm just a little bit concerned about these being too thick. So I'm just gonna tape them all up. Look, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be better than nothing, that's for sure. And it certainly make me feel a bit safer about doing it all. Uh, you can hardly see it, but I'm trying to use red tape so you can see it, but that doesn't really matter. There's only 4.2 volts if one of these shorted out, but I think it's something like 300 amps potential I don't know I guess is that about right someone will prove me wrong in the comments below no doubt uh, I really haven't got much work done this week it's been a good week for working it's been a poor week for playing but I guess you've got to take those compromises it should be noted that I suck at doing this but that's all right as long as I'm good at doing other things I guess that's two done. That's got to be better than nothing. Basically, what the plan is, I got one of those five bar heaters or something with a whole heap of settings on it so I can program it to say um, draw about 500 watts to 1000 watts. So, on my very first test, of my first A grade battery bank that is now, as you saw in the video before, as good as fully charged. I'm gonna try and quantify exactly how much power it has in it, rather than just doing some shitty maths and using some online tutorials on how to work out kilowatt hours and shit like that, because after all, that's all I've done. I've based 10 kilowatt hours based on the average, the low side of the average voltage of the pack. And I'll oh, fuck that up. There we go. Yeah, and I'd look, I don't know what the equation is, but you type into Google amp hours in the kilowatt hours, and it tells you the equation. So I think I've worked that this pack to be. The minimum cell is 2.4, so 2.4 times 80 is whatever that adds up to. No, 4.2. No, I was right the first one, 2,400 2, milliamp hours, so 2.4 amp hours, 2.4 amp hours times that by Or do you get some equation? Anyways, Google it. Fuck, I don't know. It just gives you the equation and tells you how many kilowatt hours, and that's all I did. But I based my calculations, I think, from memory, on 24 volts. But this fully charges 29 volts. So I reckon their equation's gonna be wrong. But look, if I get somewhere around five kilowatts from this, I'll be stoked.
his idea was to do this once it was up. I'll tell you what, it's not going to make for a very good video looking at the back of my head. And that one's just so I stop hitting myself on it. Oh dearie me. There's the first problem, it's too close. Okay, starting it again. That'll be right. And all me hired help has disappeared on me. Actually, my four-year-old's not hired help. This will work. Maybe. I am not Tim the Toolman Taylor. That's near enough to level for me. And look level, but she's spot on, so that'll do. So scared about damaging it. What's the bet? I'd drop this washer. Ah, win. I dropped it. <laughs> Alrighty, I take two. Ooh. I think I'm so scared of damaging it, I'm, I'm, I'm blooming shaking. Remember, this is only my my mock-up mount. But I desperately want to get this test done, so I'm willing to have to play its games to do this. I hope the next one's a lot better than this. I definitely think some bus bar refinements are in order. This was never going to be easy, but it'll be good. Wow, that's getting good. As I'm tying them all together, they're, they're self-supporting each other and not moving around as much, which is great. It's a great result. Okay, so got bank four. Being super careful not to damage my cells. It's certainly not as easy as I, I really expected it to be, but I'm quite happy with the results so far. Bank five going in now. I could probably do this a whole lot faster, but I got no interest in blowing myself up or burning the house down or any other flat earth conspiracies that are out there. 
I think Jay who used that comment last week, flat earthers, fantastic way to sum up worry warts. I can assure you, I will take all the care I know how to do. Includes paying an electrician 300 bucks to do friggin' four minutes work. Well, it's not 300 bucks, it's probably half that, but still. How does that look? I'm pretty happy. I'm still happy. Let's, let's grab the sixth one. Oh, the yeah, sixth one's going in. Seventh one going in. Last one was just slightly out of alignment, the rotten thing. And so I guess it's all guesswork and no skill. Look at that. Now that I'm happy with. I'm very glad I've changed the design of these top bits looking at that now. I'm not overly happy, but just the two end ones I'm a bit concerned with. It looks like it's sitting on a bit of an angle, but it's just the really poor camera position I got. I basically, I run a, a row of tape along the top just to stop it from moving, uh, just to stop the cells from getting damaged. Um, I'm not overly happy with the clearance in between the negative and positive, so I'm gonna I'm going to um, insulate that with something, um, probably a bit of garden hose I reckon, that might be substantial enough to solve that problem, but considering it's not my final version of me uh, mount, geez it looks good, <laughs> it really does, I really like it. So they're sitting in there alright, the end ones. That end one could could be a problem, even though I have put the tape all the way along it. I wouldn't say that that's enough. Um, all that that's got to do is bend over and hit that at the same time as that bends over and hit that and the whole thing shorts out and I got another 12 hours of soldering to do, at the very least. So, but that's not a bad little concept, I reckon. Rightio, I've got to get moving because I've got to get here before this electrician does. Wish me luck. Now, it should be noted that this is absolutely not going to be its final position. And I really wish I had a wide angle lens right now. Can't see much in here, sorry. If you can see that, <laughs> pretty horrible. But we've got the the minimum distance we need from there to there and there to there, as as instructed in the little booklet, um, and slightly more on the other side. So we're good with spacing. Um, it doesn't even get hot here, so we don't have to worry about any heat, other than the heat generated, which will be vented anyway. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's a little bit roughed in at the moment. I'm not taking any comments from the peanut gallery on this job because this is not gonna be hooked up to anything other than a completely standalone system. It's not hooked up to the house and it's not hooked up to the grid. So this is all on me. But there is a 160 amp breaker. We've got a good amount of clearance on that. 
And the way I've set that cable up is it can't pull forward. It's it's just sitting there. I'm going to tie that in somehow, I think. So the brake will go up in there. I didn't bring it down with me, but I just got to hook the DC into the inverter. Okay. Unfortunately, the electrician's just been. And I have to wait another day or two because I need to get a fuse box and probably put it down here. He wants a fuse box, he wants 32 amp breakers as per required by that, and he wants um, power points and conduit and everything else, which I kind of expected. But I'm gonna go down and grab all that stuff and start putting this in. So I'm gonna call this part one of getting turned on. That'll be a great name. Part one of getting turned on. It's pretty gosh darn cool. So, and he also said I need to put put something here and at the other end, which I which I, I think I said earlier in the video I was going to do anyway. So he, he said he wants that there before he's going to move forward. So it's a little bit disappointing, but at least it's going to be done. You know, it's going to be a safe and good test. So I'm going to go and get those parts, and I shall see you when after he's gone so thank you very much youtube and have a good week cheers